I don't think anybody will be surprised that I'm sympathetic to Prince Harry's uh, wishes to get his uh, case expanded to include uh, allegations of impropriety towards his mother and to cite Murdoch as a specific individual who knew, turned a blind eye and let it all happen. Phone hacking, predatory journalistic techniques and so on. Uh, Justice, Mr Justice Fankert has ruled against all this, saying initially that Rupert Murdoch, adding him as a name to the news group newspaper's issues, doesn't add anything material. Well, no, it doesn't. Uh, but he also goes on to say that because of the prominence of Rupert Murdoch, in the NGN, the news group, newspapers, organisation, his knowledge and his involvement could be inferred. As for adding Diana and pushing the story back to 1994 and 1995, Mr Justice Fankert says it's too late. Well, yes, maybe legally the time period has gone. Morally, the time period has not gone. And more than that, where the Justice Fankert says this can be allowed or this cannot be allowed, it's now been allowed into the popular imagination. And I think the link with Diana will work its magic. And it, 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 simply, it, it simply confirms that the establishment is ganging up to silence Prince Harry. And... They're doing the same thing to people who've been infected with blood, to people in Windrush, to people who've been unfairly imprisoned, uh, to people who've been punished by the post office. I don't think Mr Justice Fankert does himself any favours at all with this ruling. Uh, it is surely never too late. And as for the uh, uh, as for the people who are defending Murdoch and news group newspapers. They say the judge's position, the court's position, thoroughly vindicates their position uh, with its decision not to introduce large and significant amendments. Uh, but, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the, the prince was also denied permission to amend the lawsuit to include new allegations that the Sun had ordered private investigators to target Meghan in 2016. But he was granted permission to include allegations that the newspapers had tapped his landline phones and to make further allegations against journalists and private investigators. Really, the whole thing comes across as a stinking heap of audio. And Prince Harry is... Uh, as new information is finally um, discovered, Prince Harry wants to bring that forward, and I think, why not? The, the, the cut-off point is uh, arbitrarily decided, um, and it doesn't speak well for our legal system. I don't think the the decision by the judge is going to greatly affect Prince Harry's uh, or the outcome of this case. I think it will. I think it will fall in his favour. But I think it doesn't. Um, it doesn't look good for British justice.